Do you own one of these? No longer works. Broken. Can't figure it out. Ready to throw it across the room. Step on it. Toss it in the trash. Well, here's the situation. Mine had stopped working. And I scoured the internet trying to figure out a solution. And I couldn't find anything. Couldn't find nothing on YouTube. So leave it to me to figure it out, fix it, and share the information with you. Lucky for you, I have two of these. This is what happened. This one was already broke. I didn't bother to fix it or try to fix it because I already had this one. Now, I, I planned on shooting a video. So in the attempts of shooting the video, I needed this to work. It didn't work for no reason. Don't understand why. Here's the situation. I figure I would fix this. So what I did was I looked at these wires and I didn't know what the hell was going on. So I took the little plastic casing off of this to take a look at the wire diagram. And by looking at the wire, the, uh, the wire diagram of this or the way it's connected, I was able to fix this. Wire these up and it worked. By fixing this, it made me realize just what the problem just might be with this. So let's get started. Okay, if you're going through what I just told you, I, I went through. Nine times out of 10, the problem is there are four wires on the very bottom of this right here and then right here is a blue wire at the top. Now let's go through those four bottom wires, okay? Keep in mind this lead is right here. There are two little things, two little contacts sticking up, but there's only one right here. So if we're looking at it this way, then that means this lead, the first lead right here under the blue would be red, would be connected to the red wire. The next lead would be connected to the white wire. And then after that, a lead would be connected to the green wire. And then after the green wire, the lead would be connected to a black wire. Now, the problem is that black wire is shorter than the rest of the wires. So, when you're doing this and all of that and the moving of this or what happens, or what have you, I'm sorry, uh, that black wire comes off. So in this case, you're gonna have to take the plastic off, get your soldering iron, kinda like remove the plastic or use the soldering iron, not the plastic, I'm sorry, the, uh, the installation of the wire, you know, the little blue things, you know, the coating on top of the wire. You're going to either use the soldering iron to melt that away while you coat the, uh, the wire with uh, solder. Or you can use um, wire cutters. But I prefer that you try to like least try to melt away the insulation. It's much more easy because you mess around and you be done uh, put too much pressure on your wire cutters and cut the whole wire and make it shorter than what it is. So what you want to do is coat that wire delicately with solder and then you connect it back to the lead which is no really is not really an easy feat so you have to really take your time and put that that piece on this is not a great soldering job but it got the job done so there you have it that's it